In this video, we will discuss Newman and Sawhorse projection formulas. Newman projection formula. Newman projections are useful in alkane stereochemistry. Alkanes are molecules consisting of hydrogen and carbon atoms that are arranged in a tree structure in which all the carbon-carbon bonds are single. For example, ethane. Any two arrangements of atoms in a molecule that differ by rotation about single bonds can be referred to as different conformations. In order to better visualize different conformations of a molecule, it is convenient to use Newman projection. A Newman projection visualizes the conformation of a specific bond of interest from front to back. For example, the carbon-carbon bond in ethane. If we look at the three-dimensional structure of ethane, we can see two carbon atoms, which are shown by green color, and the six hydrogen atoms are shown by white color. To understand the Newman projection formula of ethane, let us rotate this 3D structure along the carbon-carbon bond. After rotating this structure, it looks as follows. Now, according to the Newman projection, the front carbon is shown as a dot. The three atoms attached to this carbon are represented by three lines radiating from this point. The back carbon atom is shown as a circle. The three atoms connected to this carbon are represented by three lines radiating from the edge of the circle. The front carbon atom in the Newman projection is called proximal, while the back carbon atom is called distal. The Newman representation illustrates the specific dihedral angle between the proximal and distal atoms. Every set of three not collinear atoms of a molecule defines a plane. When two such planes intersect, the angle between them is a dihedral angle. Dihedral angles specify the molecular conformation. In our example, the angle formed between a CH bond on the front carbon and a CH bond on the back carbon is referred to as a dihedral angle. Sawhorse projection formula. Sawhorse projections are just similar to Newman projections, but the carbon-carbon bond that is hidden in a Newman projection is fully drawn out. The only difference is that a sawhorse projection has a slightly different perspective. Sawhorse projections are useful for determining if two molecules or structures are mirror images or superimposable. They are called sawhorse projections because these projections look like a carpenter's sawhorse. In a sawhorse projection, a molecule is viewed from an angle to the carbon-carbon bond. To draw a sawhorse projection, we just need to replace the bonds in model 2 with straight lines. Sawhorse projections can also be drawn so that the groups on the front carbon are staggered, which means 60 degrees apart, or eclipsed by rotating 60 degrees, which means directly overlapping with the groups on the back carbon. The two sawhorse projections of ethane, both staggered and eclipsed, can be drawn as follows. These are the simplest sawhorse projections because they have only two carbons and all of the groups on the front and back carbons are identical. In this video, we have discussed Newman and sawhorse projection formulas.